Taarifa za mbio weekend ni kujuzwa leibuka na kugonga vichwa vya habari. Jina langu ni Hadi Mwasiwa na kusiwa ndamane nami kuanzia sasa hadi tamati ya taarifa hizi. Na tukianza taarifa zenyewe ni kwamba mkurugenzi wa kundi la kusimamia kampeni za muungano wa azimio la umoja ameibuka kujibu tetesi zilizowasilishwa na mwenyekiti wa tume ya uchaguzi nchini wa Fula Chebukati kwamba alijaribu kuvuruga uchaguzi mkuu uliopita. Rafael Tuju amesema kuwa makamishna wa tume hiyo Boya Molu na Abdi Gulie walimtembelea nyumbani kwake na yuko tayari kutoa ushahidi wa picha za CCTV. Hebu tumsikilize. I was further concerned by the fact that by that time Chebukati had made a ruling that all the returning officers from the counties must report to him first before the verification the papers are verified on the floor of the hall I had concerns about that because he was himself closed into that closed in that room with Mr Molu and Mr Marjan and therefore it was obvious to me that something opaque was taking place finally i did insist that nobody was going to stop me from getting into that office i'm a kenyan citizen and i'm not trying to do anything wrong so i told his own security people that i also have security and you'll have to shoot me to stop me from getting in and i went in and i found him with molu marjan and himself and i brought these matters with him and he told me he's busy now he's got too many uh, returning officers waiting for him so he'll not be able to attend to me so he told me to come later i was polite i left i came back later at eight o'clock then he told me come back probably about midnight i came back at midnight he told me come back at 2 i came back at 2 and he was sleeping so i agreed with the people who were there that let's let him have some sleep he had not slept for many days so i waited until 4 a.m. and that's the time when i drew the attention of somebody like Amos Wako who is a personal friend and a few others that we should go and confront him na tukiachana na hayo rais mteule William Ruto na kundi la wanasiasa wa muungano wake wa Kenya Kwanza leo walielekea katika kaunti ya Bungoma ambapo walijumuika katika misa ya Jumapili katika kanisa la Christ the King mjini Bungoma akizungumza baada ya misa hiyo Ruto amelezea madai ya vitisho yaliyotolewa ama vilivyotolewa dhidi ya maafisa wa IBC katika uchaguzi mkuu uliopita aliandamana na viongozi kutoka eneo hilo akiwemo seneta wa kaunti ya Bungoma Moses Wetangula na gavana Ken Lusak Na tukirejea hapa jijini Nairobi vile vile kinara wa muungano wa azimio la umoja Raila Odinga pia aliendeleza ibada kwenye kanisa la vile vile AIC Olympic hapa jijini Nairobi na kikosi chake cha wanaazimio vile vile kiongozi huyo baadaye aliweza kufanya mkutano wa kisiasa wa hadhara There to be reconciliation in this country first truth must be known Ukweli iko wapi Ukweli iko wapi If there's truth then there will be justice then there will be peace then finally there will be reconciliation I want kenya to be reconciled so that we can move together as one united nation so now you don't want to talk about issues which are before the court could they say that it being subjudice but we want to say that the other side should also desist from doing the same thing andi hii mambo tulisema hapo mbele shida ya Kenya ni mambo ya ufisadi ufisadi kama mwenyekiti wa tume ya uchaguzi anaweza kusema ati alikuwa anataka kuhongwa nani alikuwa anataka kuhonga yeye na ni pesa ngapi 
Namona hai ya kusema ati ya lekuwa nataka kuhongo Alisema ya natukua nataka siku kupigwa Sasa nasema ati yo Nataka ni honga mimi Pesa ngapi We manyewe umeshindwa kufanya kazi yako Unajitoka pale Unaanza kujigamba Ati yo lijua Nani ya lijua Sasa wa Kenya uneza kujiriza Watatu wale ni wanasema ukweli Au wanne wale wanasema ukweli Ukweli hiku wapi Where is the truth Between the two The, the, the two groups of the commissioners Somewhere there is a truth What I am asking for As Raila Amolo Odinga Is to be told the truth And this is not just because of the elections of 2022. It's for posterity. We don't want to go into an election and see the kind of charade that we're seeing today. Mr. Shebukati, just stamping the other side with these two other commissioners, and then the other four commissioners on this other side. It's a shame. Shame to democracy. Shame to the world. These are things that we don't want to see. There's what is it called civilian coup. These people are trying to stage a civilian coup. They're trying to subvert the will of the people of Kenya. And Kenyans will not allow it. Millions of Kenyans will not allow it. Na kutoka Nairobi toleke Mombasa ambapo matarisho vile vile ya uchaguzi wa ugavana kwenye kaunti ya Mombasa yanaendelea kwenye maeneo bunge sita kwenye kaunti hiyo. Huku hii leo vituo vya kupigia kura vikipokea makaratasi ya kupigia kura na vile vile kufanya shughuli ya kuthibitisha upokezi hiyo. Upokezi huo samahani kulingana na afisa anayesimamia uchaguzi kwenye eneo bunge la Mvita Masha Sudi shughuli hiyo itakuwa inakamilika hii leo baadaye huku akihakikisha kwamba usalama umeboreshwa kwenye maeneo mbalimbali mwanahabari wetu Saada Hassan anafuatilia taarifa hiyo kutoka kaunti ya Mombasa Hassan Omar Hassan William Kazungu Kingi Daniel Munga Kitao Ashuli ambayo tumeifanya sasa hivi ni kwa wale maagent wa vyama kushuhudia tukifungua zile pallets ambazo zina contain zile ballot papers na tunashukuru Mungu uh, ni sahihi tumezipata ni sahihi ni za Mombasa ni za Mvita constituency na zile wards pia tumeweza kuzi identify ziko sahihi kabisa we have changed even the budgets because we know there are so many uh, budgets which were used in the previous uh, election so people might try to use them to access polling stations that's why we have changed the the, 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 the budgets only those who have the new budgets and our budgets have, uh, are computerized they have serial they have uh, QR codes which one can scan to verify whether it's uh, authentic or it is fake so we have actually tried to do our best to ensure that uh, we don't have uh, uh, an, an, an people who are not required into the polling stations. We understand that this uh, election is uh, highly competitive and we expect to have so many busy bodies hovering around trying to, 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 to penetrate into the polling station. So that one has been well taken care of. Na tukisalia kwenye kaunti hiyo hiyo ya Mombasa vile vile usalama umedumishwa wanapoelekea kwenye uchaguzi hapo kesho tarehe tisa baada ya uchaguzi huo kuahirishwa huku wasimamizi wa usalama kwenye eneo hilo wakihakikisha kwamba mambo yapo shwari We still have the elections uh, for the governor to be conducted uh, on Monday Ours is to urge members of the public to continue maintaining peace and to go and vote peacefully. I uh, want to assure the public that uh, uh, any cases of unlawlessness or misconduct or breaking the law will be met with the full force of the law. We do not want to see a repeat of some of the incidences that we saw at some of the polling stations. I wish to urge members of the public to restrain themselves agents of the candidates also need to restrain themselves. Um, we will not wish to um, have a situation where um, there will be 
a breakdown of law uh, and order. We wish to urge uh, the candidates and their agents uh, to allow uh, the IBC staff to conduct these elections peacefully and to avoid a situation where we are going to have uh, cases of misconduct in the polling stations. We expect everyone to do his or her mandate in accordance with the law. So respect and decorum is a must. Tukia chana na hae le tukisalia kwenye kaunti hiyo ya Mombasa vile vile kinara wa chama cha Vibrant Democratic Awiti Bolo amejitoa na kutaja kwamba alikataa ombi la kinara wa muungano wa zimielo umoja la Odinga la kujiondoa kwenye kinyanganyiro cha ugavana na kumpisha mgombea wa kiti hicho kupitia chama cha ODM Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir kwenye kinyanganyiro cha ugavana ambao ushaguzi wake utafanyika hapo kesho Juma tatu Awiti vile vile aliweza kukataa kwamba maombi ya kinara wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka ya kujiondoa. Na kwingineko vile vile pia aliyechaguliwa kama mwakilishi wa kike kwenye kaunti ya Nairobi Esther Pasaris ameweza kuhimiza kuwepo kwa amani tunapoelekea kwenye uchaguzi maeneo hayo ya Mombasa siku ya Jumatatu. Kinyang'anyiro cha gavana kwenye kaunti ya Mombasa kimevutia vile vile Abdul Soma Sharif Nasir kutoka chama cha ODM na vile vile Hassan Omar akiwa kwenye chama cha UDA na vile vile kuweza kupandisha joto la kisiasa kwenye eneo la Mombasa. Mimi sija step down na hakuna mtu yote ama kiongozi yote amewahi kuwa na mkutano na komitii ya pati kuniuliza ni step down so i am on the race and 29 niko kwa race naomba wote wakina mama na vijana na wazee hiyo propaganda ni, ni bure ni mtu ambaye ni muoga I'm praying and believing that Abdul Samad uh, will carry the day because Mombasa is Azimio uh, and uh, we want peaceful elections and uh, of course we're waiting for the 5th of uh, September where the judiciary will the Supreme Court will pronounce uh, that uh, you know uh, what our prayers are um, that the elections were not free fair and credible and then we can get this country to a place where people can trust uh, the electoral process but I encourage all Kenyans to take sports and I know Abdul Samad has said that he's going to be paying all the pending bills to all the sporting organizations that uh, the county owes and uh, you know doing a lot of clean up in the county that can basically deliver services to the people and that's why us elected leaders are put in office so that we can serve the people and give them uh, clean environments better housing um better uh, water in, affordable water and of course um, um, uh, uh, good environments na vile vile kwenye kaunti ya Kakamega wakazi wanajiandaa kuweza kwenda Debeni hapo kesho ili kuweza kushughulika ama kuweza kupiga kura za kugavana kwenye kaunti hiyo. Hii leo vile vile mgombea wa kiti cha ugavana kwenye kaunti ya Kakamega kupitia chama cha ODM Fernandes Barasa aliweza kuhudhuria ibada ya kanisa na kuweza kuonyesha kwamba ana imani na uchaguzi uliondaliwa na tume ya IBC wa hapo kesho. ya kura ya amani tutakuwa na subira lakini kitu cha maana baada ya kupiga kura lazima tulinde kura yetu sina kweli atutakubali kura ya Fernandes Baraza mimiwa ndio kwa nikasema tutapiga kura ya amani na tulinde kura yetu sina kweli kesho ndio siku ya kuchagua gavana wa pili wakati usina kakamega. Mbaye ni nani? Tunataka gavana ambaye mekoma. Gavana ambaye akapita kaunti bila ukabuzi. Mimi mnikita kwa kesho, mita kwa gavana wa kila mtu. Ngefeto wa kisto wangu wa kulipo, kesho tuweke mamba vya makatu sababu mimi nikiwa gavana nitakuwa gavana wa Azimio nitakuwa gavana wa Kenya kwanza na kila mtu wakakamega 
nitakuwa gavana ambaye ni bora. Sio bora kama. Sawa sawa. Au kuna tofauti ya kutakuwa gavana bora na bora kama mtaarifa taarifa hiyo mtazamaji ni pafusa ya kuchukua pumziko fupi nitakuwa narejea na taarifa zaidi ndani ya muda usiokuwa mrefu sibanduke ulipo story. This is a public service announcement brought to you by KTN. KTN, welcome home. KTN News. Get the whole story. So Dr. Mtazamaji, shukran kuendelea kusalia nami kwenye taarifa za mbio weekend. Na tukisonga mbele ni kwamba waziri wa elimu Professor George Maguha ametangaza kuongezwa kwa muda wa kutuma maombi ya kujiunga na gradi ya sita kwa wanafunzi wanaoingia sekondari ya ngazi ya chini kwenye mfumo wa elimu ya CBC mpaka tarehe kumi mwezi Septemba mwaka huu. Akizungumza kwenye shule ya upili ya Gatundu Kusini kaunti ya Kiambu alipokuwa akiidhinisha ujenzi wa madarasa ya CBC amefichua kuwa shughuli hiyo amba ayo siku yake ya mwisho ilikuwa tarehe 30 mwezi Agosti imepelekwa mbele kuzuia kuwafungia nje ya mchakato huo wanafunzi. Aidha ametaja kuwa wizara yake imekuwa ikikumbana na changamoto katika kuweza kushughulikia swala la kuandikisha wanafunzi wa gradi ya sita huku akiwahimiza wazazi kuhakikisha kuwa wana wao wanaandikishwa kwenye orodha ya kujiunga na sekondari ya ngazi ya chini ifikapo tarehe 10 Septemba. procedures facilities that are needed to do this project, be it in art and craft, be it in science and technology, be it in agriculture. Coming here, it has really helped our learners because we have seen how we will go back to our schools and gather those uh, materials that we can improvise and come up with the modeling of the uh, human securatory system and the, mode, uh, the, uh, the making of the leather belt and so on and so forth. Uh, si shule nyingi kwa sasa zina uwezo wa um, aha ya mabadiliko ya CBC. Kwa hivyo unapata shule nyingi zinaweza kosa kupata ile nafasi eh, ya kuweza kufanya vitu hivi, ya kuweza kuona kama ni the beadwork, uh, mambo ya na weaving. Uh, kwa hivyo naweza sema ni vyema watoto kuja pia kujionea and we learned a lot of things that we did in theory in the classrooms. Um, we, we learned about the digestive system and the breathing system. We even used the real structure of the breathing system. We even learned about the reproductive system. Yes, I saw cow, cows, hens, goats, hamsters. Rabies, 
na zaidi ya wakulima alfu kumi katika kaunti ya Kericho vile vile wameweza kupokea miche ya chai kutoka kwa mamlaka ya ustawishaji wa kilimo cha chai nchini KTDA kwa mujibu wa maafisa wa mamlaka hiyo mpango huo unalenga kuwanufaisha wakulima wadogo wadogo kwa shambangu niko na mapera niko na ufagado ingine na panda boka kama sukuma wiki spinach na isuwi tunafanya modern kitchen gardens ili tuweze kufanya kukua na food access kwa ile chakula ambao tunaimiza wakulima wa, wa wale ndio wakwe na afya mzuri na pia tunawaimiza wakwe na food diversification in the households ili ili wasikue tu wanategemea chai peke yake lakini pia wakwe na wanaweza kupata chakula It's essential for the tea farmers to be healthy and to be able to also be able to manage their the NCDs that are all crippling our our, our economy due to the high um, costs of uh, treatment. And through this, uh, the the farmers are able to be healthy, and uh, and uh, the productivity of tea will increase because healthy farmers will mean better productivity and good tea business for KTD. Na mtazamaji taarifa hiyo na tamatishia taarifa za mbio weekend Jumapili ya leo. Ngana na mita na saa moja kwa taarifa zaidi. Nimekuwa kwa hadi ya mwasiwa uwe na mchana mwingi.